Welcome back to GearWire.com. I'm Bill Holland, and we are here live at Movement 2007 in Detroit. And I'm here with Stefan Betka from Pole, here from Berlin, and he's going to talk about what he uses to produce. Now, what's your setup like? What type of computer software do you use? In the studio, I mainly use Logic Audio and some uh, Apogee audio interfaces, and I have an analog mixing board. Everything that I do is mainly analog in the studio. I have a bunch of different synthesizers and some effect units and EQs, compressor and all that, kind of vintage style. What about your live setup? When you perform live, do you use Ableton or are you using another product? When I play live, I, it's, it's mainly the same setup, an analog mixing board, um, plus a, a lot of multi-effect units, but um, for live I use Ableton to play. Uh, uh. So do you use a lot of analog live as well, you said? What type of things are you using? Uh, well, I, I, I use little effect units like guitar pedal stuff, analog, like a reverb system, Dr. Scientist, from, it's a handmade stuff from, from, from Montreal. I use ZVEX a lot, or electroharmonics, this kind of stuff. Okay, great. Now, I also wanted to know, I got your album online digitally through, Beat, I believe it was Beatport, I can't remember exactly though. Are you releasing a physical copy of the album, or are you mainly going digital, and where do you see things going in terms of the digital market? Do you think analog copies like vinyl are going to be outdated or do you think people will still keep using those? I mean, so far we still release CD, vinyl plus online distribution. So it's a, the, this new format is just an adding for, for us at the moment. Um, since we are not really 100% focused on um, DJ music, um, people still buy more CD copies and vinyl copies than they would download my album actually. For the future, I'm not really sure. I really hope that vinyl will stay on the market, actually, because I think for a certain type of music, vinyl simply sounds the best. Um, but of course, I see the, the the progression that online sales will definitely go up, and um, which is not a bad thing, so long artists get paid off by it. So then it's all fine. So um, what I'm absolutely against is this illegal sharing and peer-to-peer -peer shit and all that. People have to think about that they ruin the, the, the life of, of artists. We are not Madonna or something. We, we sell a few thousand copies and try to make our living out of that and travel festivals and try to support the audience as good as we can. So why, why don't they support us then? All right, well, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you talking to us and uh, we'll see you hopefully next year. Hopefully, thanks for having me here. I'm Bill Holm for GearWire.com and we look forward to seeing you at the next episode from Movement 2007 in Detroit.